Around two and a half years ago, I decided to do a total revamp of my wardrobe to improve my personal style. My wardrobe looks totally different now to what it did then, and my personal style is in a really good place as a result, but I have decluttered a lot of things to get here. The process of decluttering is often hard and overwhelming. First of all, you are faced with the guilt of every purchase mistake you have ever made, and then you have to make decision after decision, drawing the line of what stays and what goes over and over again and after a while you likely run into decision fatigue which also doesn't make the process easier when you have literally hundreds of items to go through and so to help you on your way here are the things I wish I knew when I started my decluttering process and the first of those is to start with a brutally relentless first round let's first assume that you are going to go through everything in your wardrobe to decide what stays and what goes I found that the best way to not get stuck in doubt mode every other time you lift something up to judge is to be relentless with your first round of decluttering. Make zero final decisions. Give yourself only two piles the to stay pile and the maybe pile. Whenever you pick something up to decide and your mind presents you with zero doubt that you want to keep this item, throw it into the to stay pile. But then, as soon as you pick something up and you get even the tiniest hint of doubt of whether to keep or toss, throw it straight into the maybe pile with no further rationalization and then move on to the next item. Once you've done this with your entire wardrobe, you can throw your keepers right back into your closet and then you can go through the maybe pile to sort the things through that you know for certain that you don't want to keep around. And then you'll be left with a pile of the actual decisions you will have to make and you can start actually examining from there. The next thing I wish I would have done right away when I started decluttering my wardrobe is to let go of the pieces I didn't feel great in or worse yet feel inadequate in. Probably the most important lesson of tossing or keeping your clothes is that your clothes should fit you and not vice versa. Keeping feelings of inadequacy around in your life via your wardrobe wardrobe is totally pointless. I think most of, if not all of us, are guilty of at some point in time holding on to an item just because it's a nice item. Something like, oh, but this is such a nice dress. But then whenever you try to wear that, something about it just feels off. And no matter what feeling of off this actually is, this piece really serves no other function within your wardrobe than to make you feel slightly less than great about yourself whenever you wear it, and that is just completely pointless. This is your wardrobe. These pieces are only for you, so if some of these pieces makes you feel less than or are only kept around because they are nice, you're probably better served just letting that item be nice somewhere else. You can think something looks nice and then not have to possess it. Let go of these items if you can. And the third thing on my list is the first thing that I wish about what not to get rid of. I feel like this is an important fear to address because I think part of the decluttering process can be daunting because what if we make the wrong decision and get rid of something that we shouldn't have? Once you become a trained clothing assassin, it might start to get easier to make the decision of tossing something, either following your own standards or following some other version of some rule, like if you haven't worn it in a year, which is a rule that I don't personally follow and it is because you don't have to get rid of absolutely everything, like the classics. Decluttering essentially comes down to why you are holding on to an item. You shouldn't hold on to pieces that makes you feel some version of either inadequate or some unhealthy version of sentimental, but you are absolutely right in holding on to pieces you might truly believe will come back around for you later. Back at the beginning of my channel, I did a decluttering video and one of the pieces that I was discussing was a black leather jacket and and I decided to keep it, but I remember getting a few comments that I would be better served letting it go because I was no longer wearing it at the time, but I decided against that and I am so glad that I did. There is no way I am getting rid of a perfectly fine, great condition, rather expensive classic black leather jacket just because I don't feel like wearing it right now, but have a ton in the past. It is totally fine to put some of your items into storage if you determine that you might actually 
actually appreciate not having to buy these again later down the road. If there are anything I regret decluttering, it is a few items like this. Like for example, I decided quite a while back that I didn't need my Nike Air Force Ones anymore. I didn't feel like they were suiting my style and so I gave them away. But even though I really felt and still do that they no longer suited me, I could have used them on occasion when for example I really needed nice comfortable sneakers. So getting rid of those were silly but I also don't need them enough to actually spend money on them again. It is a minimum of items from my wardrobe that lives in permanent storage in my basement because I'm really not talking about holding on to those maybe someday items. I'm talking about those ones with actual utility that you might need and want someday. The next thing I wish I'd done as part of decluttering my wardrobe is I should have ignored the all or nothing approach. I am obsessed with following rules for creating my wardrobe and I'm also obsessed with following a rule for decluttering it as well. And that is how I have ended up following some of these rules absolutely religiously before realizing that since these are my rules, it's also up to me to decide when I get to break them. Alas, when to make an exception to the rule. Whatever rules you make for decluttering your wardrobe, it's also up to you to make the exceptions for that rule as well. If you do find yourself having a few items you want to keep around that otherwise goes against the rules that you have made, decide to just break your rule and have zero guilt around that. If one of your rules is to get rid of the things within your wardrobe that are too small but you find that you have some sort of special piece like a jacket that doesn't fit any longer but you really don't want to get rid of, just break your rule and put it into storage. Make it the exception to the rule instead of judging every too small item by the fact that you might lose weight someday. Make the exception so you can still keep your rule. It is so important to have your style support the person that you are in the present and keeping your wardrobe free from items for hypothetical use is paramount to this process. So just try to be aware of the motivation behind it when you do find yourself breaking the rules that you've set in place. Thing number five I wish I knew before I started decluttering my wardrobe is that yes you can regret getting rid of something but if or when that happens it's not going to be the end of the world. Okay so even though this is technically for after the process I do think that it can be helpful to keep it in mind throughout the process of decluttering as well. Even if you do get rid of something that you find later down the road you could actually use it's probably not going to be something you couldn't live without anyway. Remember that the items you do get rid of were a source of of doubt for you at the time. For me, looking back, there were actually a few of the fast fashion items that I got rid of that I could have probably got a bit of use out of had I kept them, but back then I was pretty ruthless on the trigger and as a result some of these things left my wardrobe as well as part of upholding the rules that I had made for myself. I also got rid of a really nice blouse because it had become too small and this is one of those things I would have liked to have in storage now, but Salami. The point is that you kept the pieces you knew for sure that you enjoy or that you wanted to, to wear and you will find other pieces to wear for these days where you could have potentially worn the things that you did get rid of and should not have. You're probably not going to accidentally declutter your favorite items. So if you do regret getting rid of something, it's probably going to be a less important item and thus a smaller regret that you can let go of pretty quickly. So even if that should happen to you, overall it'll be worth it. And that's because at the end of the day, even though it is really important as well, it is also just close. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this video as well on things I wish I knew before I started rebuilding my wardrobe after the decluttering process. And here's another video that YouTube thinks you might like. I'll see you in the next video.